a long way, but finally a tour of France room for spring prodigy Yuen. To lose, France a bit more than a year ago, Caleb Yuen was devastated to be left out of the tour of France. The Australian sprinter had to watch cycling's biggest race on TV after finding out at the last minute that his Michelin star team was placing all its bets on Adam Lake in the fight for the yellow jersey, and would leave Yoon at home. A year later, Yoon earned his first tour victory by edging a close sprint on stage 11 in Duluth on Wednesday. I was ready for the tour. Three or four years ago, I always wanted to go straight to the top races, said Yoon whose daughter was born just before the race started. I've been held back, I finally got my chance. Yoon switched team Stilato Tudel this season to replace veteran German sprinter Andre Briegel, and the ambitious young Stilwa, at last, promoted to a team leader role this summer in France. But the pressure was due on Yoon, a winner of 36 professional races including stages at the Spanish Volta and Giro d'Italia. After coming close in previous stages with three third-place finishes and a runner-up spot, he finally delivered by edging one of the payloading's fastest men. The 25-year-old Australian beast fellow sprinter Dylan Brunew was in by a tire's weight and was awarded the victory after photo finish. Elia Fabiani placed third ahead of three-time world champion Peter Sagan. Yoon perfectly timed his effort after Brunew was launched his effort on the left side of the road. Yoon took the wheel of his dust rival and pitched him to the line. It was super hectic, said Yoon, who has now completed wins at all three grand stores. I ended up in Blue Newton's wheel coming out of that corner. It's a hard thing being with Dylan and I knew it was not going to be easy to beat him. I felt I should let him get a bit of a gap so I could sprint in his slipstream, stream, and I could pass him quite quick. I'm happy that this time I was a few centimeters ahead of him. The win also made up for having to leave Australia just after the birth of his daughter Lily. He thanked his wife for letting him go and compete in France in such circumstances. She let me come here and leave my young baby in hospital, Yoon said. It's the hardest thing I had to do, to come here to race and leave my daughter in hospital. With the race heading into the Pyrenees over the next four stages, the main favorite did not take any risks Wednesday and there were no significant changes in the overall standing. Frenchman Julian Alapulai kept the yellow jersey, 1 minute, 12 seconds ahead of defending champion Jerain Thomas. Thomas, teammate Eden Bernal, the Aeneos leader, remained in third place, a further 4 seconds behind. I prepared myself for a pass to take place, whether from the favorites or other riders who want to gain time, the Lapilus said. The coming days could be crucial in determining the next tour champion. Following Thursday's stage and its two first category climbs, Tom is an excellent time trial specialist will have a chance to gain time on his rivals in the only individual race against the clock this year. Then it will be time for the blue in the center of the turnout of the first of three finishes over 2,000 meters this year and the final Pyrenean stage to tailing more than 39 kilometers of climbing. There are five big days to come, but we are up for it, Thomas said. Obviously, we'd love to be closer to Alapolis, but we are ahead of traditional GC, general classification, guys. It's hard to see how Alapolis will go but Eden and I are in quite a good place. By the second rest day we will know more about who are our rivals. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.